What's up, I'm Mayor. I'm Declan. We're gonna do a quick explanation of our robots in one week. All right, so for our robot in one week, we did two separate teams. So we did the team of graduating members and the team of members coming back next year. So this is the graduating members team. Um, just starting off at the bottom, we have our drivetrain. For our drivetrain, we run 450 RPM. Um, that's 36 to 48 teeth. And we run that on 3.25 inch wheels. We ran this ratio and speed because we felt it was important to go fast in this much more open field game. And having that speed to go from the different goals will be pretty important. Um, moving up, we have our intake system. And we actually run four separate 5.5 watt motors on this intake. And how this intake works is we have our first stage, which is chained together down here. Something unique about this first stage is we actually don't have an axle within here, and we have these two sides screw jointed. Um, we got this from team 8110S, and they kind of used this design so that they could easily clear the match load pipes so that they could quickly score those balls. Um, moving up the intake, we have this second stage. And what this does is as the intake intakes upwards, it actually shoots the ball forward. And that's really important because it allows us to score on those lower uh, goals with the game. And then moving even further upwards, we have the top stage, which can shoot forwards and upwards. Moving even further back, we have our color sort mechanism. Um, for the color sort, we have this one optical sensor down here, which detects the color of the ball at the start. And what the color sort does for us is as we intake up the intake, it will reverse this roller so that the balls will actually just shoot out the back. And we don't currently have a collection basket for the ball, but that's something that can be easily added in the future. So for our intake motors, we run the 5.5 watt motors, so that starts at 200 RPM for these higher stages, but the pre-roller is uh, chained to 600 RPM. And the same goes for this back roller, which we use to bring it up and for the color sort. And that's with the same ratio, it's chained for 600. The other ones are on 200, so they have pretty nice torque so that they can get up those middle sections. Um, at the very top of the intake, uh, a big thing that makes our ball kind of shoot forward is this little piece of uh, dial rim. Um, you can do this just using like a piece of metal. We tried to minimize the plastic on these robots due to the new R25 rule, but that just allows the ball to get a bit of compression here so it can kind of shoot out. Anyways, that is the 29295 senior robot for the start of this year, and I'll hand it off to Declan to explain their bot. Yeah, so for the 29295 robot for returning members next year, so with the drivetrain, we're just running 450 RPM on 3648. Um, this year is going to need to be fast because it's an open field and you're also going to want to pick up the other team's balls if you have a hoarding mech, you're going to want to get to them first. Um, for our first stage intake, we just have the horizontal intake on the two inch flex wheels and this is geared uh, 12 to 6 tooth on the 5.5 watt motors. Um, this is also bad importance. And then we have this metal ramp here because we wanted to try and limit the amount of poly we use with the new R25 rule. Um, this then brings it up to our intake. So this is on an 11 watt 600 motor. So all of this is geared evenly and we just have bands. And so this will bring the ball block up to the top where we can then score it into the long goal. And then we can also just drop it into the middle goal. And then we can just outtake into the low goal. One thing I think could be probably better with this robot is with these intake. I think these are gonna be really good for getting the balls out of the match loaders. However, you do have to be pretty precise with them. So this, if you hit it from the side, it kind of just pushes it over and to get it into, to get it into the bot, you need to be pretty precise with it. So I think having a mechanism where you can just hit it from the side and bring it around into the robot will be pretty good this season. And just to go over a few things that I think we could improve on the robot for the senior team is the build quality obviously, but we found a lot of success with the actual intake part of it and we see a lot of value in having the scoring on all the different types of goals along with the color sort. So some things we would do to finish up this robot is touch up on the build quality and then finish the actual basket. We think that having the color sorting system a bit higher up would be a lot more beneficial because it allows us to fill more balls and kind of have them stack on top of each other. And hoarding will probably be a big part of the meta at least early season 
just because you're able to deprive teams of their balls if you defend the pipes. And then with the with the match load intake, um, we see a lot of value in having this. We think that it'll be a really quick design. Um, we considered a couple alternate designs being the horizontal intake, similar to the junior robot, along with having a either drop down kind of counter roller or a counter roller that pistons and pushes out underneath the balls. And we tested a couple of those ideas in CAD and we've seen teams do similar designs using a passive ramp rather than a roller. And we think both of those can be pretty effective, but we think having it active will just make it a lot faster and ramp up the cycle times a lot more. All right, thank you so much for watching. This concludes the 29295A Robot in One Week. Good luck to everyone in pushback. We hope to see you all at Worlds because we're definitely running it back this year.